everybody, I'm Cage Sanderson here with my brother Joe Sanderson and we are going to bring you some sports updates from over the weekend. Joe, what do you have for us? Well, we've got the Nashville Predators in the NHL who are currently on an eight game losing streak. Within their last eight games, they've been shut out three times and they've also given up five goals in three of the last eight games. Uh, one to the Dallas Stars and two more against the Chicago's, uh, uh, Chicago Blackhawks, I believe. Uh, after their April 12th loss to the Stars, Captain Shea Weber told media that he hadn't seen such a bad streak before and that it was really tough for him and they needed to pull together to get out of it. He also mentioned that making the playoffs doesn't give anybody an excuse not to win and that his team needed to show some pride. The Predators only have a few games left of the 2012-2013 season and hopefully they can end on a higher note with a few more wins. Moving on to the golf world, though. Yep. Uh, Ernie Els, he, uh, he's experimented with the short putter at a golf classic in Thailand. Right. What, what was that golf the classic? Chiang Mai? That's it, the yeah. Chiang Mai. And he, uh, he did pretty well, and he plans to actually use the standard putter at the RBC Heritage, but he changed his mind after finishing third for the week at Augusta National in putting. Um, Els says he's just so much more confident with the long putter than he is the short putter and that he doesn't want to stop using the long putters until uh, they're banned and there's talk that the USGA and the mm -hmm. RNA are going to ban the long putters before the US Open uh, which could pose a problem for golfers like Els who are just way more confident using the long putters versus the standard short putters. Uh, four of the last six major championships have been won uh, by players using long putters. So, I mean, that's kind of an interesting, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, you know, the long putters, the, the thing is, as equipment and things change, uh, the sport is changed as well. And to take something like a traditional shorter putter and to evolve it into something that's anchored, something against your body, it's going to give you more stability, more control, stuff like that. Some you people know, say it's yeah, like an advantage compared to the standard where you're more free with like all the other clubs right. you're using so I don't know and uh, you know as for which one I you know I personally think is, is better or worse you know I like the short putters I like how the game was played before but uh, I don't think it would affect me much either way um, but I'm glad to see that the committee and everybody has agreed on something they're gonna follow through with it rather than dragging this out any longer right so hopefully you know everybody will end up being happy and uh, adjusting to the standard putters. I mean, everybody pretty much, I think, starts out with the standard putters before they progress. Yeah, I mean, you don't just start definitely. off learning with a long putter normally. Yeah. So yeah, especially because you know. it's such a it's such a new thing. Yeah. So we'll see how this goes. But uh, also with the golf world, we've got some good news for Graham McDowell. He's uh, returned to the top ten in world rankings after an almost three-year winless dry spell on the PGA Tour. Uh, McDowell's now back in that top 10 by winning yeah. the RBC Heritage on Sunday in a playoff. So yeah, yeah. You... No, the, uh, the RBC Heritage was a huge comeback tournament for two guys, uh, Graham McDowell and Webb Simpson. They both failed to make the cut at Augusta National. And so they're coming into this tournament. Um, you know, for, for Simpson, he just wanted to see how far he could go. Uh, for Graham McDowell, he actually wanted to just relax. Uh, he actually said that you know he went with his uh, fiance and his uh, parents, and they had some great dinners and drank a couple glasses of wine at night, and it was just a total relaxing trip and in, in time for them that he happened to just play some golf at as well. Um, but Graham McDowell and Webb Simpson both played amazing. They pushed uh, a playoff between the two of them. Graham McDowell bogeyed his final hole yeah. and uh, Simpson could have won but he missed his 22 foot birdie putt. So they went to a playoff hole where Graham McDowell sunk a 15 foot birdie putt that Simpson, um, yeah, yeah, Simpson pretty, wasn't able to follow that early. and so he became the uh, the victor there. And uh, Graham McDowell, that's that's pretty amazing to just go, want to relax, want to prove something to yourself and to everybody coming off after, after you know, a, a disappointing trip to Augusta that, that you can play golf and that you it's can do something like that. It's almost like the more relaxed because it just you're not concentrating on the winning so then it's like it almost works out better for right. you. You can just go into that. You and know? It, it obviously worked out great for McDowell. Yeah. I mean he just I mean, he is... just came away with one million forty four thousand dollars yes. for his first place purse so I think that made his weekend a little sweeter. I, this tournament was definitely a good one for McDowell has moved up in the rankings. He is now eighth in the world from being number 18th and this is uh, his highest 
ranking since June of 2011. So this was definitely a good tournament for McDowell all around. His second win on the PGA Tour. Second win on the PGA so Tour. There we go. That's another notch in his belt. Yeah. And uh, if we're going to keep talking about rankings here, uh, Webb Simpson, he has, even with uh, being runner-up, he moved up a little bit in rankings. He is now at 18th in the world from being 20th. And um, Angel Cabrera, who has continued to rise up in rankings a week after his runner-up finish at the Masters. Cabrera claimed a victory on the PGA Tour Latino America, and uh, he has now moved up to 58th in the world from being 297th. That's awesome. Which is, yeah, that's pretty, that's a big, that's a big You know, really and the, the thing about Angel Cabrera is he isn't the guy that is in the top 10 every week, the top five, the top 20, the top 30 even. Yeah. Uh, he's kind of a sleeper, he disappears, nobody knows, you know, is he even playing mm -hmm. in this tournament kind of thing, he's sitting at the bottom. But then every once in a while, he'll just come out and just destroy the field. Yeah. And he just plays amazing. Kind of sneaks up there. So he's a little streaky when it comes to his golf game. But honestly, if that nets you a few wins, I don't think that's a big deal. No, I don't either. He's having a good time, you know. Yep, yep. Good for him. And, and a, the... another real cool thing was yeah. uh, at Augusta, uh -huh. I love that his son was, was caddying Was his caddy. Yeah. <laughs> that, I think that's that was one so of the good. coolest things ever. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, I believe Jack Nicklaus was the only other in history I, to have a I son caddy so. for him. It was I, I believe I it was, was. and uh, th that's just amazing to me. It's something so cool that doesn't happen a lot, but the whole family. Yeah, thing just uh, to have father son bond like yeah. that, and go out there and they're they're laughing and fist bumping at the holes. And stuff. Yeah, they're having yeah. a good time, and that I think that really much. helped him and helped propel him to the success that he was yeah. having this year. Yeah. So, because uh, I mean, even being runner up at the Masters, I mean, he had an unbelievable game. His whole Masters game was pretty. It was, was a run. That was, it was really quite awesome. A run. And uh, we're gonna finish up talking about some more rankings here. Tiger Woods, obviously, still at the number one spot, and Rory McIlroy is in second. Uh, the Masters winner, Adam Scott, is in third. Steve Stricker is now in ninth from being number eighth. Matt Kuchar has moved up to the tenth spot uh, from he was number ninth for a little bit there. And Phil Mickelson, he is just outside that top 10 bubble. He is ranked 11th in the world. It's, oh yeah. man, he plays like a top 10 player, so that's you know, just not a... Yeah, Mickelson is phenomenal. There's nothing bad that you can say about the guy. Uh, his demeanor, he's happy, he's smiling. Uh, he, he never looks upset, uh, he never looks angry. He's yeah. just, he's truly enjoying himself and having fun, and that's yeah. what the game of golf's about. And somebody like Mickelson, you know, you just want to see him succeed. He's the guy that you want to see win, yeah. you know? And uh, he's been going through a lot of problems with arthritis in his hands, and it's been affecting how he controls his golf shots and making it a lot more difficult for him. And I just really hope that he can find a solution to that and find something that's gonna help him out to where you know that can get put aside. He can start winning the amount of tournaments he should be winning. Yeah, because he's definitely a top ten. He's like right. he's he plays like a top five player. I mean, he's one of the his best. Short, his short game is just it's some of the next to none short yeah. game you've seen. It's just you know when he's around a green, you expect him to you expect him to at least give it a real good go at a yeah. chip in or something. You know, yeah. I mean, all those guys are so good, but with Mickelson, you can expect that around yeah. the green. You know, he's got such a great short game range. Yeah, I hope he so. can. Um, I mean, unfortunately, I don't think the rankings uh, reflect the kind of play that Mickelson, I mean, what he does out on the course, but hopefully he can um, maybe, move his way down. Yeah, move yeah. his way, just because that would just be nice to be able to see it all move his way, you know, up into that top ten. Heck, there. maybe before long we'll get to see a Tiger Woods Mickelson <laughs> playoff round at some, at some point. That'd that would be, be, that'd be like that'd a be dream. Quite a treat. Uh, yeah, yeah that would be pretty fun to watch. Most definitely. Alright, I think that is it for us. Um, it's been fun. It's been real. And, and it's been um, real fun. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we will, I guess, See sign you out next here. Week, maybe. Bye, everybody. Bye bye.